Yeah, one problem, one solution. Salvation is accomplished. Uh, the ego would, of course, want to make it seem like there's multiple egos, that everybody has an ego. So that's, what do we got now? That would be six billion egos. Six billion egos on this planet alone, colliding with each other each day in, in all kinds of layers of conflicts and controversies. And what, you're supposed to invent psychologies and, and different ways of, of mediating of helping those, dealing with of dealing with those. No, what the Course is saying, no, there is one mind and the way back to that is realizing there's one ego. And that's why when anytime there's a, a really going into it, it must be seen that a, that a dark thought system is just being unveiled and nothing more than that. It's yeah. not personal, there's not any bodies that have bigger issues or smaller issues. Yeah. It's just that the mind that believes that it can come into bodies the mind that believe it can take on a form is the problem. Yeah. And it says, to, the question is given Jesus, how many teachers of God does it take to save the world? He says, one. Yeah. One teacher who wholly knows who he is, knows the divine mind, knows that he is not a body and not in a body. Well, that explanation in the chorus right there tells us that that it is a divine mind that knows its pure abstraction and oneness that yeah. is the savior of the world. Yeah. So when Jesus said, when I awoke, you were with me, it is literally a reflection that this world is over. Not that Jesus personally seemed to do something 2,000 years ago and now little by little hundreds and thousands and maybe millions and billions of others over a long period of time are going to have to make it, you know, like, to, to, yeah. like Jesus. Yeah. But it's just the remembrance that it is solved. Yeah. It is finished. It's done. Yes.